Good morning, YouTube family. South Texas Prepper here. Today's uh, Friday, March the 1st, 2023. Uh, guys, uh, just wanted to talk about a couple of things today. I uh, hope everybody's had a good week. Um, over here uh, in South Texas, you know, weather's been kind of cool. We have a little, I wouldn't even say a cold front, uh, just a little cool front. <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure we're about to get, uh, our, our weather's going to start you know steadily climbing into the hot weather so we're just gonna get ready for that um guys today i really want to talk about i guess you can say the obvious um about the, our economy uh about and not just you know what we hear about in the financial channels or um you know like uh jay bravo and uh you know gregory manorino talking about the big picture uh bond market the stock market etc uh, i'm talking about right here at the ground level with the middle class with the with the working poor um it it it's a struggle uh, i make I've, I've been blessed with having a, a being in a good career uh working for a very good employer um that pays me well for what i do uh, but even then just that being said, um, the cost of living is just really making it harder to to just you know what I'm saying to just uh, to just live. Um, so and and this is something that we talk about all the time about the cost of, of food, um, energy prices like our gasoline. Uh, our utilities, right? The electricity, uh, the water, water's going up. Um, what doesn't help is that these bureaucracies, these entities are steadily, <clears throat> uh, it, it's almost like they're arbitrarily just raising prices on us. And over the years, over the last decades, we've made it to where they are so strong and so powerful that, that we can't, basically we just can't do anything about it. Um, Property taxes, uh, see here in Texas, uh, where I live, we don't have state taxes, um, but our property taxes are very high. And, um, you know, the, the, the value of the homes, it, it, they're not that, believe me, they're, they're not worth that much. Uh, but what's going on is that we have these out of state, uh, investors, we have hedge funds that are buying up large uh tracks of, of of homes right and creating a false demand so we are because of that we are getting our 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 our, our property taxes are going up and making it harder for us to 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 keep up so then you have your you have your homeowner's insurance you have you know your you have your vehicle uh you know your vehicle insurance those are not too bad but what i'm getting at my friends is that the cost of living is going up and i and i mean we always talk about that and we know that this is something that we're all struggling through uh we are all feeling it some of us are handling it better than others um i'm i'm thankful that my wife and i have been able to keep up and, and and stay ahead of the curve but but just barely guys I mean our and I'm thankful that we started a prep honestly we started a prep uh, years ago when we saw the writing on the wall like I mean actually when things started to come out that things were gonna start going downhill not everybody's hurting guys I mean there's people that are thriving there's people that are living a good life, uh, that are staying ahead, and 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 I'm glad. Um, but in general, in general, um, things are are not are not good, you know, for a lot of people, and, and our economy as a whole is is very bad. Um, not to get out there, but what we're seeing is is basically a takeover of 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 everything by a small group of people a small group of of organizations that are taking over the world and um and 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 most people don't 
cannot really understand what 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 is going on only that of course that the cost of living is is high so there are a lot of details that that are the cause of that but people of course they're they're not going to care they just know that they're having a hard time this situation that we are in has been created by our by the people that we call our our, our government by the people that we vote for or I mean honestly I, I don't vote anymore guys I haven't voted for years um, it's a sham it, it, it it's just a dog and pony show um, at the local level is where it matters uh, your school districts uh, maybe at the county level and below but other than that um, it's all corrupt and I'm sure a lot of y'all especially if y'all are listening to this video y'all y'all know that we live in a corrupt society a corrupt uh, we have a corrupt government uh, and the government is just it, it's just a tool used by the ruling class to, to pacify us and and give themselves the the authority uh, the the it, it's just rubber stamp that's all they are the government um, that being said what can we do to to make the situation better for ourselves and what I've seen is uh you know it, it there's a lot of great YouTube content creators that give great advice. And, and, of course, we have common sense, right? Create our own business, do side hustles, side jobs, whatever. Um, and really, guys, that's where we have to go really old school. Even though it's harder, uh, the, the, they want to charge you all these uh, like licenses and pay this and that fee. Uh, to have a side job, whatever. Um, but we still have... We can still contract with each other uh, on a personal basis. That We still have that God-given right, that natural right to, to keep the fruits of our labor. And that's what we have to do, guys. Uh, we really have to go back to the American spirit of, of, of that old... What I remember... Growing up of creating your own business, doing side jobs, side hustles, whatever. Um, I know there's like Jay Bravo and uh, Heresy Financial. They have great programs. Uh, Economic Ninja, Real Estate Ninja. They have great programs, great uh, kind of like classes that you can take in how to make money in those fields like investing and stuff, which is I, I, I totally agree. Um, but we really have to do go the extra mile, guys, to make it right now. Uh, to get ahead, pay off our debt. The most important thing I, that I've learned, and it's taken me a while to like really understand uh, what they meant by try to pay off your debt as quick as you can. I understand that now. I used to hear it all the time, and I and I thought I understood. Like, of course, pay off your debt. You know, of course, you know, duh. But no, it it it. Literally, you got to pay off your debt, guys, um, because, of course, you're paying the interest on it. Um, pay down the principal and pay it off as quick as you can. And I know that it's easier said than done, but <clears throat> if you want to, if you can articulate a plan, write down a plan, put it down on paper, um, write it down on the board. For some reason, guys, it just manifests. Uh, you can make it manifest easier. So, anyway... I just wanted to, you know, to talk to y'all about what's going on here in my world. Uh, you know, we're all going through the struggle. Like I said, some of us are doing better than others. Uh, and, and I'm grateful for what I have. I'm grateful for the support from my, you know, from my family, from my, from my, from my wife, my kids, um, you know, we're all in this together, guys. Uh, that's why I say, you know, we have to, you know, take care of each other and love each other. You know, because, and I know it just sounds like words, but it, in this world, guys, y'all see the evilness that is out there. You know, the, 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 the black hearts that people have. I've, I've heard and seen some, like, awful stuff. Um, it doesn't help that we have people coming in through the borders that have a totally different outlook on life they have a totally different uh, set of morals and 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 
principles that you know that are that are alien to us um we have <clears throat> excuse me we have to get strong and and <clears throat> and prepare ourselves to fight all these battles uh, that's what i've been doing um i knew that it was going to not not only a, a a financial uh aspect to what i had to prepare for but also my mind mentally uh to prepare for the the the, the hard times that are here that that i knew were coming which is why i started to prepare but also guys i i have to I have to say this i know a lot of people especially people that i <laughs> my family and my a lot of people that i work with uh think that i have a gloomy outlook or pessimistic about life i really don't guys i i absolutely don't i these these struggles that we're going through it is an animating contest right it it makes it It, it gives you purpose. It gives you a goal that you have to surpass, right, in order to get over all this. And not not so much for myself, but for my family, for my kids, my grandkids, especially my grandkids. It I, I can't tell you how enraged I get to, to know that the possibility of the world that they're going to grow up in. The rights, the the, 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 the the quality of life that they'll never know, the things that they have lost, the rights that they have lost, you know, and they'll never that they won't know to fight fight for. But but that's why I'm here. I, I, I talk to my kids, my even my little grandkids, you know, I I plant that seed, that idea of, of, of natural law, God's law, all those things to their level, right? But uh anyway guys I, I I live life to the fullest. Don't get me wrong. We have we have fun. I love I love life. You know what I'm saying. I love being alive. Um, I have my 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 spiritual beliefs. I'm a Christian. I I I I'm human. I have my I'm, I have my 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 faults. I have things that I have to work on. Um, it's not all doom and gloom. Believe me, it's not. Uh, I just understand that. We're in a struggle, and so, like I tell my kids, it's always you take care of business first. Um, always take care of business first, and that's what I try to do. So, anyway, guys, just wanted to get with y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, Cat and Bobby, I hope y'all staying warm up there in Idaho. Uh, Want to give a shout out to my family up there in Ohio, uh, in Washington, Washington, the state of Washington. Um, if y'all watching this, love y'all. Uh, all of y'all, my subs, I know a lot of y'all, you know, have y'all on social media and stuff like that. Um, hope y'all have a great day. Uh, also, keep an eye on those fires up there in the Panhandle, North Texas. Uh, they're not affecting us here. Texas is a very large state, and those fires are way up there in uh, up there in the Panhandle um, by Amarillo and Canadian. I believe it started close to Canadian, the little town of Canadian. Um, anyway, guys, pray for those people. Um, so y'all take care of each other and love each other out there because that's what we're here for. God bless.